An engaging narrative doesn't deal with the main character alone, but also how they touch and are touched by the lives of the people around them. Joshua Jacobs has a passion for the culinary arts and he brings pleasure to discerning diners as a private chef. So I wasn't only keen to hear his story, but also to sample his food. Born and bred in Durban, Joshua Jacobs has an approach to food that places as much emphasis on the presentation as it does on the flavor. That's hardly surprising considering that in addition to being a qualified chef, he's also a professional model and photographer. He was at work in front of the camera when Michal met up with him. Mark Twain once said, the secret to getting ahead is getting started. Joshua Ronaldo Jacobs is a young entrepreneur who started his own catering company at the age of 19, while still pursuing a career in the modeling industry. I'm meeting up with him at his latest photo shoot to find out how he does it all and what inspires him. Hi Joshua. Hi Michelle. How are you? Good. What is it about modeling that you enjoy so much? The fact that I get to be in front of the camera, just kind of express myself, kind of take ownership of the images that are about to come out. It's been my passion for the longest time. I know you've got another look. I'm going to leave you to it. Awesome. But just remember, if you need another model, I'm here. Thank you. <laughs> Joshua has been a freelance model for some six years. And during this time, he also studied the culinary arts at the International Hotel School before beginning his career at a boutique hotel. Oh, look at that. Such a defined job. You know, Josh. thank you, Candace, yeah, man. The two of you look like you're having so much fun. Too much fun. I know that you've got more planned for us. Can you tell me what? It's kind of a surprise, but let's head off to the venue and we can check it out. Awesome. Awesome. Joshua, I feel like you really know me. This is the kind of surprise that I can really get behind. What are you preparing today? Today, I'm actually preparing a three course Indian inspired canapes. Oh, it all sounds incredible. Please let me know if I can help. Sure, will do. I'm going to start by cutting my spinach. You don't want to cut your spinach too thin. I'm just going to scrape up all this delicious crunch. Next up, I'm going to crack the egg into the bowl, you know. Pour that delicious egg and the yolk into the bowl. I'm going to crack the second egg. Now we're just going to pour all this lovely sweet corn into here. And so I'm going to take my portion of baking powder, just pour it into the flour, give that a little shake and just throw it in there. And then I'm gonna move on to a pinch of pepper. I like a lot of Parmesan, so. I love it cheesy too, so you can add it. Awesome, let's put some more. <laughs> and I'm just gonna pick up my spoon and slightly mix the ingredients together. Just add a bit of whipped cream. Just pour that lovely stuff into there. Combine that together. I think it's ready to fry. So I've preheated this pan. Just add a bit of oil, scoop up some of the batter. Just toss that in there. Kind of give it a nice circular shape. It's starting to bubble from underneath. That indicates that your sweet confit is ready to be flipped. Wow, look at that golden brown look. It's ready to come off. Just place it on the plate. The aromas coming from there smells incredible. I'm loving the fact that you love the smell of things. Joshua, I can tell that you have such a passion for food. Definitely. Where do you think that comes from? I've grew up in a family that's passionate about food, passionate about trying new things. So from a young age, I've just been trying different techniques and I guess it just grew on me. You are an entrepreneur, starting your own company at the age of 19. What inspired you to do that? Definitely the long hours in a workplace wasn't working for me. So I said, why not start my own thing? Why not be the boss of my own company? I definitely want to hear more about your journey, but what's next on the menu? Next is actually the butter chicken kebab. So I've pre-prepped the mince. I've kind of thrown in a bit of flour and a bit of egg just to combine the two together. So I'm going to start by adding a pinch of salt. Same with the pepper. Just sprinkle that around there. Oregano, some people like it a bit spicy. Paprika, just add some color to the mixture. If you like your stuff spicy, just add a bit more chili. So I mean, I'm kind of just gonna combine this together with my fingers. It looks like you're having a lot of fun, actually. It's so much fun. It's always nice to have some flour on hand in case it's a bit too sticky and it sticks to your hands a bit too much. Pour some flour over the batter. Just some on my hands, just so it doesn't stick. Kind of just combine the two together, roll it into a perfect ball. So you basically just use the heat from your palms to kind of combine the mints together, you know? So we're just gonna make a couple more of these and kind of have a bit of different textures, a different size. 
of the meat ball. So I'm just gonna round this up, roll it through the flour, just place it there, and back to the frying pan we go. So I've actually prepared the butter chicken sauce. Just gonna give that a lovely mix. What I've got in here is actually a bit of curry powder, some bay leaves, some salt and pepper, some mustard seeds, some delicious paprika, some tomato puree, and I've added a dollop of fresh cream. And then you take your kebabs and kind of just place them in the oil. Place these two on either side. That sizzling sound. There's this lovely masala fragrance coming through. So I'm just gonna place these into the butter chicken sauce. And I've actually prepared a batch earlier, which I'm gonna add to the butter chicken sauce. Just kind of place these here for now. So I'm gonna grab a few of these, and you really just wanna infuse your meatballs in the sauce. Kind of soak up all that lovely flavor. Dish them up onto this lovely black plate. Just gonna put about four or five. Ready to go. That is looking absolutely spectacular. Awesome. Marketing is so important as an entrepreneur. How are you using social media to promote your business? I basically just take pictures of my food, post them online, and just work up a following thing. Just the more you hashtag, the more following you get. It is the final course. What are you preparing? I've marinated some prawns, which I'm about to grill. So in here, we've got a bit of oregano, some peri peri sauce, some tomato puree some cream, just a lovely combination of flavors. That sounds absolutely Moorish. Awesome, so I'm gonna go ahead and grill these. Can you pop some skewers in there for me? Absolutely. I'm just gonna take some oil and kind of brush it over the pan. Just gonna take it and throw it in there. Can you smell those awesome aromas? I do, and it feels like I am in heaven. Oh, that looks good. So I'm just gonna take some rockets and start plating it. Just gonna place some on this here on either side. I'm gonna take some of the roasted cashews and just drizzle that over. Now for our peri peri prawns, just throw a bit around. We've got the tzatziki. Just kind of drizzle a bit over the prawn. Just gonna take this beautiful sweet corn fritter and just drizzle some parmesan cheese. And some mint will do excellent with the color. And we're done. This looks incredible. I cannot wait to try. Let's get some shots of them. Oh, that looks beautiful. Oh, stunning. Just getting one for the gram. Oh, that looks fantastic. Right? Look at that. Oh, wow, that is so gorgeous. <laughs> awesome, eh? Should we eat? Yes. I'm starving. Joshua, what advice do you have for other aspiring entrepreneurs out there, especially the youth? Just don't give up, set goals for yourself and achieve them all. Joshua, on that note, shall we indulge? I think so. <laughs> Joshua has faced his own set of challenges, but it motivates him even more. He's conquering the world one epic fritter at a time.